Hey gang, welcome back to another one of my videos. I was on YouTube yesterday and a couple of videos were put in front of me as suggested videos, so I decided to click on them to see what they were all about because they were extremely, extremely similar to a highly popular video which I uploaded a while back where I take an AA battery and I boost the voltage up to 120 or 240 volts AC. In the video that I observed, and I actually observed a couple videos like this one, so there is a lot of copying going on on YouTube as we all know, what the person did is they took a bulb like you see right here. In their case, it was a 230 volt B22D base incandescent lamp, probably around 5 watts, and it looks like what you see right over here. And the person created a circuit using an AA battery. It did not look like a AAA battery, as the title suggested. As usual, more lying to get people to click on the video, so they watch it. Took that battery and used it to light up a 230 volt, 5 watt incandescent lamp. Now what people have to realize is that in order to take a 230 volt incandescent bulb and have it powered by a 1.5 volt battery like you see right here, that's a AAA battery. If it was possible, the AAA battery or AA battery would have to supply 2 to 3 amps of current or more to be able to light up a 230 volt 5 watt incandescent lamp. And you have to realize that whenever you transform from one to another, low voltage to high, there are some losses in the circuit. So you're going to be losing some current on that battery in order to drive the higher voltage bulb. The person shows it working beautifully, hooks up the battery, turns on the switch, and then the light goes on, full brightness. No current measurements in this video. There are some voltage measurements taken but you can't even trust the voltage measurements because the test leads were not entirely in the video field of view. So you could very easily take another source, connect it to the probes, and then when you touch it, it'll show up as a different voltage. Now what's going to happen when you put a load of 2 to 3 amps on a battery that size, AA or AAA, the 1.5 volts that you started off with, usually a little higher, 1.55, to 1.65 when it's brand new, that is going to drop way down. When it drops that low, you're not going to be able to have the components operate properly or have the transistor oscillate to create the pulses in the transformer to drive the high voltage bulb. I also noticed that the person that uploaded the video in question also has a few free energy devices shown on their channel. And everyone that watches my channel knows exactly how I feel about free energy devices. Now the circuit that you see right here is shown in my popular video. You're going to want to click on it. Link is up here circle with the eye, or you could wait till the end of this video and you will see the video shown. You can click on it and it will bring you to that video. The schematic shown at that video is exactly what you see shown right here. The only difference is I took the transistors and I replaced them with an NTE373 and an NTE374. One is an NPN the other is a PNP transistor. They're complementary. The resistor value used for this circuit is 36K quarter watt. And the capacitor which is used to get everything oscillating is anywhere between 0.03 microfarad and 820 picofarads. And I'll show you in a minute why I have so many different values. It affects the power output of the circuit. The transformer right here is a high frequency transformer. It was pulled from a switch mode power supply. If you make this, look for one that's very similar 
or you can use a 3 volt step down transformer, 6 volt or 9 volt step down transformer. Just like all the other circuits shown on my channel, everything works. There's no scams on this channel. In one of the videos that I watched, the schematic that was given to viewers wasn't even one that would work properly. All right, over here, there's different capacitors. And the reason for that, it's going to vary the output of the circuit by changing the frequency. A lower value capacitor is going to make the frequency higher and the higher value capacitor is going to make the frequency lower. The circuit you see here can be driven as low as 1.2 volts, so an AA or AAA battery will work. But even better is this very tiny CR2032 3 volt button cell. When I connect right here, you're going to see the LED light come on. Here we go. All right. And as you can see, it's illuminated nicely. It's not at full brightness, but it does illuminate the 120 volt LED bulb. Now I'm going to remove the button cell. And we're going to take the negative right here. Let's connect it to this battery, AAA. And you can see it lights up using the one and a half volt battery. And here's a neon lamp using the AAA. Now I'm going to hook up the power supply to the board and we're going to go through all the different voltages to drive this bulb as well as the incandescent. The power supply is connected. We're at 1.6 volts. That's 18 milliamps to light this up using that circuit. If I want to increase the output, I'll try swapping this out right here. Try doubling them up. A little brighter. Yep, you can see it went a little brighter too without the current changing. See that? Now I'm going to push this to there. I'm going to increase the 2.6. Look at that 2.6, how bright that is. Only 58 milliamps. And if I pull one of these out, let's pull both out. Oscillation stops. Let's try this. All right. Now let's go a little higher. This is a great power supply too. If you're looking for one at a great price, link in the video description area along with the coupon code. 3.6 is getting really bright. And look at this. Only 86 milliamps to drive this bulb at 3.6 volts. So with the button cell running the circuit, you can go over here, put this down to around 3.2. That's the output we had. It was pulling 74 milliamps off the button cell. So using a higher value capacitor right here, 3.2 volts, 74 milliamps. If I change that to a lower value, which is going to give me higher frequency, you're going to see the current increase and the bulb get brighter at the same voltage. Look at that. Alright, see how much brighter that is? 246 milliamps now at 3.2. Let's go over here, play around with it. 15 volts, 870 milliamps, a lot of current. Don't want to overheat the transistors. We got an 8. 559, 3.2, let's go all the way down to, see 1.2 it's on, let's see, I see at 1 it's getting ready to flicker off, 1.1 volts, Point three, four, five. That's right around the brand new battery for 1.6. 3.2. Okay, let's try this again. 
Now I'm going to remove this and use the incandescent lamp. Alright, so let's go back to 1.6. There's your 1.6. Let me increase the current a little bit on that one. Okay. Now let's take this off. Can I connect it on there? Yep, alright. So here we go. You see the current rising up higher? That's 200 milliamps coming off that battery. It's doing nothing. So now I'd have to increase the current. Let's go over and make it 3 volts. Let's make it 4.6. Alright, let's touch it. Starting to come on. 360 milliamps. Let's go to 12 volts. Let's go to 12.6 like a car battery. This should come on fairly bright now. There you go. Alright. 600 milliamps at 12 volts. This. Look at that. Hey, watch this. Look at that. How the voltage is so high. Check this out. Watch. Look, it's keeping an arc and powering the bulb at the same time. Is that cool? Alright, 3 volts starting to come on, 4, that's 10 volts, right there is probably where it normally would run, that's over a half of an amp, eh, probably right there would be about right, 15 volts, 650 milliamps, pretty bright right there, and we're at 830. And that's all for today's video. Keep in mind, if you're looking for circuits that are proven to work, all you have to do is check out my video playlists. There are many, many circuits on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you very much for watching.